Hello friends, do you want to know how to solve linear caliper questions? Or do you want to understand better the structure of linear calipers? Well, we'll be doing that in this video and also we'll be looking at some past questions on linear calipers. My name is Divine Gift Undubuese Olichiku and this is Divine Gift Lectures. I'm, I just got admission into the University of Ibadan to study medicine and surgery and I'm uploading these videos for you guys to understand your high school or your senior secondary school. Um, subjects so that you can get your own admission too. Don't forget to subscribe, click that subscribe button, all right, and after that, click the notification bell by the side, okay, so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video, all right, let's get into business. Vineyard calipers. Um, we want to see how to solve vineyard caliper questions, but before we do this, we have to look at the term called reading accuracy. What is reading accuracy? Reading accuracy is the smallest graduation of a measuring instrument. It is the smallest graduation on a measuring instrument. Now, let's take, for instance, the measuring instrument for time, which is the clock. Now, it can have hours, minutes, and seconds, okay? The smallest graduation is seconds there. So, the reading accuracy is going to be one second, okay? Now, assuming it doesn't have seconds, but it has just what hours and minutes. The reading accuracy will be what one minute. Now, assuming it's a fancy clock, it has only what hours. It just shows us no minutes, no seconds. The reading accuracy will be one hour because that's the smallest vibration available there. Okay. So now let's um, use another instance. Your rule. Um, if you look at your rule, you see that it has centimeters and it also has what has what. Millimeters. The smallest gradation there is a millimeter. So the, uh, the reading accuracy will be what? One millimeter. It will be what? One millimeter. Okay. Now we want to put that in centimeters. We want to put that in centimeters form. So what is one millimeter in centimeters? Let's take note of this equation millimeters over 10 will give us what? Centimeters. Okay, millimeters over 10 will give us centimeters. And putting this into the equation, 1 over 10 okay, will give us 0 0.1 centimeters. So for a rule and the meter rule, the reading accuracy is what? 0 0.1 centimeters. Now, we want to look at the reading accuracy for vinea calipers. What's the reading accuracy for vinea calipers? The reading accuracy for linear calipers, we can find it to be what? 0 0.01 centimeters. Okay, this is the reading accuracy for linear calipers. But this is the reading accuracy for meter rules or rules. Okay, so this is the reading accuracy. I will use this to solve. Um, questions on that linear calipers. So how do you solve questions in linear calipers? Now, you notice that this, this is a portion of the linear caliper taken, and we want to find the reading. This is the main scale, and this is what the linear scale. It has two scales, the main scale and the linear scale. In calculating or in getting your reading, rather, first of all, you find the value on the main scale just before the linear scale starts. Just before what the linear scale starts, what is the value on the main scale? Know that the value on the main scale is always in centimeters, regardless of whether they put it or not. So the unit is not here, but this is in centimeters. Main scale, this is the main scale. Okay? Um to clarify things. The reading just before the linear scale starts is what? 4.2 centimeters. As you can see here, 4, 4.1, 4.2. That's where it stops, just before the linear scale starts. Now, we are going to add the reading we'll get from the linear scale to this, to get our final answer. That is to get the reading on this word, linear caliper. Now, how do we get it? On the linear scale, we are going to look for a line that what, meets with a line on the main scale. Okay, we are going to look for a line on the linear scale that meets with a line on the main scale. Now, let's look for the line. This line doesn't meet with any line. This doesn't, this doesn't, this doesn't, this does. Okay, and what's that? 
number five, the fifth value. Okay, so we are going to take this value, which is five, and what do we do? We are going to multiply it by this reading accuracy. You can see where it comes into it. So we will multiply what? This value by what? By the reading accuracy. And five times what? 0 0.01 will give us 0 0.05 centimeters. Okay, so we'll add what? We are going to add them and it will give us 4.25 centimeters. This is our answer for what? For this. Okay, now let's go into, let's see another example. As I said before, what do you do? First of all, you do what? You look for the value on the main scale, just before the linear scale starts. After that, you add the value you get from here, and how do you read this? You find a line that what meets with a line on the main scale, then you multiply by the reading accuracy and add it to what? The value you've read before and you get your final answer. So let's do that right now. Um, the value on the main scale, just before the linear scale starts, it's 8.1 8 centimeters. Plus what? Now, let's see the line that meets with a line on the main scale. Does this line meet? No. This doesn't either. This doesn't. This doesn't. This doesn't. This doesn't. This does. Okay? Five, six, seven. Seven. Okay? So, the value for this line is seven. And we are going to multiply it by reading, the reading accuracy, which is what? 0 0.01 centimeters. So, seven times 0 0.01 centimeters is what? 0 0.07 centimeters. And this will give us 8.17 centimeters. So easy. Okay. And um, you can see the importance of why we, so we are taking our reading accuracy as what? 0 0.01 centimeters. So that what? Both values, when we get them, they will both be in the same meaning centimeters. If you took it in millimeters, you could have, you will have to start um, doing one conversion for the other. Okay? So we can see that in the same minutes and what it helps us to just get our value straight away without doing um, any more conversions. That's how why I'm giving what the video accuracy in centimeters. You can also get it in millimeters by putting it in this equation. That's why you also have to have this equation in your head. Okay? So um the value in millimeters, if you want to know this, will be what? equals to what? 0 0.01, okay? Multiply this by 10, cross multiply, the millimeters is going to be equal to 0 0.01 times 10 would mean this moving forward, and that will give us what? 0 0.1 millimeters. So this is also the video accuracy in millimeters form, but have this in mind as reading accuracy for linear calipers. When you want to have it in millimeters, in case you are asked what is the reading accuracy and the options are in millimeters, then you always have this formula to remind you of this value. But have this value in your mind. Reading accuracy for linear calipers is what 0 0.01 centimeters. Now also, before we move further, they do ask questions on uh, the highest precision of what linear calipers that is they can ask which of these values shows what um, the highest pre precision of what linear calipers that is the highest precision that linear calipers can measure up to and this will take us back to our reading accuracy now the reading accuracy here is 0 0.01 centimeters we can see from here that what it has two decimal places. It has what two decimal places. So, in what for the highest position that a linear caliper can measure, the animal, the what the answer must have what two decimal places. Okay, it must have two decimal places, as we can see here. Two decimal places. Two decimal places. Okay, as long as it's in what centimeters. But now, assuming the options you are giving they are in millimeters, then you use your formula to get this 
in millimeters, and we found that is this value 0 0.1 millimeters. And we can see here just one decimal place. Okay, so when your whole answer is in what the final answer is in millimeters, it must be in one dp. Okay, that's one decimal place, but for centimeters, two decimal places. Okay, so but always have this as very accuracy for linear calipers in your mind. And any anytime you want to what, find it out in millimeters, use this formula. Okay, so now let's go back to the uses. Uses of linear calipers. Okay, it is used for measuring what the internal and the external diameters of tubes. It is used for measuring the internal and the external diameters of tubes. It is used for measuring the diameters of rods also. Assuming this is a rod, it's used for what? Measuring the extent, the diameter of what? Of rods. It is also used to measure the thickness of metal rules. Metal rules, okay? So these are the uses of vinyl calipers. It's used for measuring the internal and external diameters of tubes, the diameters of rods, and what? The thickness of metal rules. Now let's go over to past questions on linear calipers. Now, um, we have a past question on the jam, and we have an extra question. Okay, these are past questions on linear calipers. Now, let's go back to number one. Let's clean this up. Okay, number one, the diagram above represents a section of a pair of linear calipers. The reading on the instrument is, so they are trying to tell us to what? Find the reading on this instrument. Okay? So, as I said before, you find what the value on the main scale just before the linear scale starts. And from here you can see 5 centimeters, 5.1, 5.2. Linear scale starts here. So this is our value 5.2 centimeters, 5.2 centimeters. Plus, then we are going to go back to the linear scale and look for a line that meets with the main scale, with a line on the main scale. So which line meets with a line on the main scale? This doesn't, this doesn't, this doesn't, this doesn't, this doesn't, this doesn't. The sixth line what meets, that is five, six. This is six. The sixth line we meet with a line on the main scale here. So what? The number six, we are going to multiply it by the reading accuracy. Okay, we're going to multiply by the median accuracy and 6 times 0 0.01 centimeters is what? 0 0.06 centimeters. So this is going to be equal to 5.26 centimeters. Okay, now we should note always, we should note always that what? Um, we should look at the units. Okay, if they gave us what? In millimeters, then we would what? Use this formula and what, convert this to millimeters, okay? But here, it's in our favor, actually. They gave us in centimeters. So we are just going to look for what this answer straight away. But if we are giving what the values in millimeters, we will have to what, use this what, formula and convert this. So always sort like this. But if you are giving what, the, um, the options, or you are required to put the answer in millimeters form, at the end of the day, use this formula, okay? So, what is our answer? Our answer is 5.26 centimeters, which is C. So the correct answer is C. Okay? So let's go back to the second question, which is a jumpers question. The inner diameter of a small test tube can be measured accurately using a A micrometer screw gauge, B pair of dividers, C meter rule, D pair of linear calipers. What's the answer? The answer is D, pair of linear calipers. As I said before, the uses of linear calipers, they are, one of the uses is what? To measure the internal and external diameters of tubes. And in this case, we are seeing what? We can see this, inner diameter of what? A small test tube, okay? So the answer is going to be what? D. These are answers. Okay, so from number three, number three we can um, answer this. 
I talked about it, precision. Which of the following is the most precise reading that can be gotten from a linear caliper? Now, as I said before, we are going to look back at the reading accuracy and we'll see that what that's two decimal places for it in centimeters, okay? But we are not going to look for what the value that has what two decimal places um, straight away here. We are going to make sure it's in the same limit. But now you can see that it's in millimeters, not centimeters, as we have a reading accuracy in. So, um, you could as well what? Now, you what? Put this value here. You actually found this out before, but I'm doing it again because you might not have the value in millimeters in your head. So, in any case, no need to worry. You always have this formula to convert. 0.01 times what? 10 will give it value in millimeters. Which is equals to, at the end of the day, is equals to what? 0 point, what? 1 millimeters. Okay? So, now we can see in this case, it's, it has one decimal place. So, the precision of linear calipers in millimeters, it must have one decimal place. Or in centimeters, two decimal places. Now, since it's in millimeters, we look for the answer, what? Just with one decimal place. And the answer is what? A. Okay, the answer is A. So, this is our answer because what is in one decimal place for, and it's in what, millimeters. Okay, so um, one thing I want you to do is to practice, solve on your own, and tell me how it went. Comment, alright, and like this video if you loved it. If it taught you some new things, don't forget to tell me. Okay, if you haven't subscribed, press the subscribe button. I'll keep uploading more videos, alright? I love you. God bless. See you in my next video.